Ty is eight years old. He enjoys learning about the U.S. presidents, listening to all kinds of music with drums, and eating Butterfinger candy bars. Ty has dysautonomia, a condition that is causing multiple system atrophy. Well, I guess it was 2007, and um, Ty had always, since he was born, had a problem with eating and, and uh, acid reflux, and, and then he woke up one morning with extreme side pain. We thought it was appendicitis, and it kind of sent us on this big medical search all over the United States. They call Ty the question mark. Uh, all his doctors do. They really can't find anything that's causing it. They, they can find basically what they can diagnose as symptom. Ty has about 50 doctors um, between Minnesota, Columbus, Ohio, D.C., and Austin and in Houston. It does put a lot of stress on, on the family and plus with our, our daughter. We have a daughter that's four, uh, Dakota, and it, it gets hard on her because she, she has a hard time understanding that, you know, Ty's getting a lot of attention, but it's not really the attention he wants. I knew about Make-A-Wish, but you just always kind of hold on to the thought, like, he's going to get better and we don't need it. His pediatrician um, looked at his chart and was just astounded by the number of doctors that he had seen out of state. And he said, you know, he's been on so many trips. I don't want to send him on another one to Columbus, Ohio until I can give him a chance to get on an airplane that it's not going to be for medical. When we told him about it and explained to him, you know, Ty's, you know, you know what the Make-A-Wish is and it's just something that, you know, you may never get to do again, but it's that opportunity just to take some stress off your life and to just open up and be a kid, you know, to put that smile back on your face that, which, that you don't always see. It's kind of bittersweet, you know, you, you really want it, you want the opportunity for them, but at the same time, it's just a, another realization that your child is really sick and it's, it's maybe not go, you know, not going to go away. And then, you know, you see your kid's face light up when he's just hearing these stories about actually getting to go on a vacation where it's no doctors and it's just getting to go have fun. I'm so happy because mainly all the planes I get on is to fly to a different state to go to a doctor's. From that day on, he just was beaming. I mean, it just, it was like a whole new tie. He was rejuvenated. He was ready to go. And it was like until the day we left, it was just a constant, are you sure we're going? Are we really going? It was just so relaxing everything was planned you know all we had to do was pack our clothes i just we just never never had that just to see their their smile and him and his sister running around the house just screaming at the top of their lungs how excited they were uh, and they kept asking over and over Are you sure we're not going to a doctor and that's what they kept asking and it was like no we're really we're going on a family vacation ty wished to meet a volcanologist he had briefly considered going to iceland after the 2010 volcanic eruption but decided that Hawaii would be a more relaxing destination. In August, the family flew to the islands where they explored volcanoes, met some real volcanologists, and swam with manta rays. And as we were flying in though, he was watching out the windows and you could see the islands coming up. I mean, whenever the plane hit the ground, I mean, it was, it was his little sister Dakota, the, before we even got off the plane, she was already trying to dance a hula dance. Of course, the Make-A-Wish Foundation from Hawaii was, they met us there with lays and everything, kind of directed us where we needed to go. And the next morning we got up and we went to the, uh, to the National Volcano Park. They took him into the back, you know, behind the scenes, nobody else gets to do. And to sit there and watch him, he was trying, they were explaining to him how these uh, seismograph charts and everything work. And he's sitting there up there in the middle of them, just like a professional. They actually dressed him in one of the, the flight suits and the helmets and everything that they actually go out and get lava samples with. And then that evening we got to fly in the plane over the top of the, the actual uh, volcano itself. It was a six passenger prop plane and we flew over Mount Kilauea. We saw where, it went, where the lava was pouring into the ocean. The next day after the volcano, uh, we got back and uh, we went out. Uh, it's basically a, a half hole boat. At the top part inflates and the bottom part is aluminum hole. And it's so neat, and me and Ty sat on the outside of the boat. You actually sit on the edge. And so it's like a rubber raft. It's got two ropes that you hung on to. But there was like a, a cove there. We went in there, and that's mainly where all the manta rays come and feed. The manta rays will just, like, grow, and they will come up right against you. The whole trip was just uh, an amazing trip, but as far as just pure laughter and pure fun of my heart just being opened up, sitting there and listening to my kids laugh for an hour through a snorkel, it was the greatest time I think I've ever had. 
It was so much fun to just to see them be able to enjoy themselves and and um, all of us to be able to take a deep breath and just relax and know that we didn't have to go or do anything that we didn't want to do. It was just a week just for the four of us. I mean, they're, it's an amazing organization. They're just. It's hard to put that in words. Since we've gotten back and being able to experience everything um, to do with Make-A-Wish and Ty getting his wish granted, um, he's had, you know, physically he's been renewed, you know, spiritually he's been renewed. Everything on the trip was so enjoyable because of the reputation of Make-A-Wish. Everywhere we went there, when they heard Ty was from Make-A-Wish, they went above and beyond just because of the reputation Make-A-Wish has. Because it's not just an organization that tries to pitch some kids here and there, they really do care. And they really do go above and beyond to make sure a kid's happy and to make a kid's life change. There's just, you know, so much that we can see that's come out of it for him. And he's just like a, you know, a whole brand new person that he just got a fresh start and he just so needed that. I was really thankful for them to come to, that, to pick me to go on a make wish trip. I was just, it was, awesome. it was an awesome experience. The Make-A-Wish Foundation grants the wishes of children with life-threatening medical conditions to enrich the human experience with hope, strength, and joy. Every 40 minutes, a child receives a wish because of the generous donations from the community, bringing happiness to children at a time they most need it.